He managed to defeat Agassi. Yeah. Well, that was a close match, wasn't it? But uh, he did everything right in that match, didn't he, from a technical point of view. A few surprises in the under 81 kilos category. Lost to Cass of Belgium. Matt Bekov. And that was in the semi-final, so straight down to fight for third place. Takei have lost in the quarter-final, so he had to do a repercharge fight, uh, beating Latsy of, of Moldavia. He's another great young athlete, actually, up and coming. Yeah. There's a lot of them, isn't there? We, we've seen a lot. <laughs> Always seems to be the case, I think, this... The federations tend to start running them in during the end of the Olympic cycle because they know chances yeah, ready are for the summer. next one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Uchi Mata. No grips though. No uh, kumagata on the sleeve. Okay. Confident, but no control. Yeah, just he had him <laughs> going up, didn't he? You know, yeah. so that was a good thing. In fact, it's a similar situation okay. to uh, the 73 kilogram from Georgia. I think everyone was probably expecting to see Malai in the final block. Uh, and we had um, Muki yeah. went out as well. Yeah. Usually these front runners and the big names that we usually see on the podium haven't had the most successful tournaments, and now we're seeing the yeah, younger teammates. Porsche's Vili, he went out. Lee Juan, he's through. Um, Nagase went out in the early rounds. Yeah. Got your Drapu, another seeded player. Still going with that Ushimata. Yeah, just keeps plugging away with it. Mm. Can he manhandle him over? A bit. I think the thing is about Niwaza is you know the ones that really know what they're looking for, you know, and they'll dig in, try to get the arm or try and get some kind of control. And we were saying, weren't we, about the Japanese women's team and how efficient they are with their transition. Yeah. They know exactly what they're going for. And then you talk about them having a system and just going from one to the other no matter what's happening. It's plan A, B, yeah. C, D, isn't it? And if plan A doesn't work, it's, it's on to plan B. And actually, opening up this morning, you just saw how critical Neowaza was. It was contest after contest won in Neowaza. Yeah. Mate. Well, especially if your coordination's not quite there, your tachi was a one, you know, and you're, you're not quite warmed up. I often think about um, how warmed up they are first thing in the morning, you know, and how you used to training at that time in the morning as well. Your body's not quite there, and you can often see it. I remember my dad always used to say to me, he said, if you don't win your first fight, you're not going to win your last one. <laughs> well, it will be your last one. Okay. Attacks do seem to be in favour of Dekayev. Struggling to find his foot. Yeah, there's a second shooter. Yeah, just well ahead on the attacks. Matt Babegov. Okay. So that was a win for Darren Karapetian on 
the other to Tammy. Who actually lost to Mak Madbikov earlier on. Strange so, how that works, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so... He's already got the bronze. So it'll be a bit of a shame if it doesn't go in the way of Mak Madbikov now. That's the thing, isn't it, about the cross repertoire? charge? Yeah. It's never a good thing when he tells him to tie him, does he? Especially that's when he it? turns to yeah. him. That's it. Like, oh. So a bronze medal then for Azerbaijan and Takeo.